What's cracking and lacking? My DP peeps, Deprived Productions, Josh here with a ninth Unreal Engine 4 material tutorial video. A ninth one, breaking all kind of materials. Glass. A couple different kinds of glass, actually. I'll make a couple simple ones, a couple, couple hard ones, show you a couple tricks I've learned. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into it. I've got a, a, a model here, okay, right here. You can see it, and it's got two different materials that you can apply to it. So one is the frame, and then the other one here is the plane. So we're going to create, right now there's nothing, but we're going to create them. The first one's going to be easy, but check it out. Right-click, material, name it glass underscore one, even though I'm not going to lie, this isn't even glass. <laughs> but we're going to uh, drag it on there, nothing happens, jump in here, you know what I'm talking about. Check this out, super, super cake translucent we're just going to make a see-through material so a completely translucent material so i changed opaque to translucent right here under this default lit go to unlit that's right now just hold the number one out here and click it's already set to zero by default and you plug it into opacity and you save it because uh because you're done that's it it's a completely translucent material you're like well that you're like well that's not glass at all well it's not now, this is just a really simple way of making a completely see-through material now there's nothing there you think but there actually is a there's a material there. It's just completely see-through. You can use that to your advantage. Let's check this out. Let's go over to the second one, right? Right-click, material, glass underscore two. We're going to do something a little similar to it. Still very simple. Nothing major. Just kind of like a kind of like a very, very dim. Oh, 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 wrong thing there. Very, very dim glass. Glass number two. I'm going to drag it over here because that's usually how I do almost all the time. Um, opaque to translucent again. Okay. Keep the default lit the same. Hold the number one like we did last time. Plug it into opacity. But instead of zero... Make it 0 .05, okay? And then I want you to hold the number one again right here, and I want you to plug it into base color, and I want you to set it to one, like for white. Well, you, you think, well, why don't we plug a color node in there? Well, you can use, a, it's, remember, it's all about values. One is gonna be white, right? So let's save it and go back. And, and if you notice it takes longer to save when you're doing translucent materials, don't freak out, it's harder on the PC. Click back, and what I've got here is like a plane, but it's got like a little, uh, little, little glare to it. It's, you know, it actually does, a light does affect it, so you can see it kind of kind of changing, but if you compare these two, you can see that this one actually looks a little more like glass. You know, it's still pretty simple stuff, but I'm about to get serious with it. Right click, material, glass, C, I'm a three. I do apologize, drag and, drag and drop. Do it. Check us out. I'm gonna do a little different again. Opaque, drop it to translucent, like always. Nothing major there, right? Now here's what we're gonna do. I want you to hold the number one. Plug it into opacity. I want you to set it to 0.3. You're like, well, that's, that's a little weird, bro. A little weird number. Just check it out. Right here, I want you to type in FRE. And you'll go call, get what's called a Fresnel or a Fresnel right here, okay? You're probably like, I don't, uh, I don't know what that is. Well, I'm about to show you. Hold, uh, type in the word LERP because we need to get a, la a linear interpolate. Oh, 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 don't do it like that. Actually, just hold the letter L and click just like that. And we'll plug this into the alpha of this, okay? And I want you to plug this into refraction. Boom, just like that. You know what I'm talking about? Drag it down here. And I need two numbers for A and B. Check it out. Hold the number one. Hold the number one. I want you to set this one to one. Okay? And then there's a light profile number that Unreal Epic has even, you know, did in the sales. When you're, when you're making glass like that, there's a certain number they want you to use for this one, and it's 2.42. .2. So we're going to use what they say to use, which is 2.42. .2. So I've got one. Oh, make sure this one was set to one because it did not save for whatever reason. One and 2.42. .2. So that's all we got going on. We got the refraction, uh, a, little, a little lerp there between the one and 2.42 .2 on the frontal, and then the opacity is set to 0.3 and save. And you're like, okay, well, what, what, what's that even going to do? Let's watch and see. Check it out. Now, I'm gonna, when I look at it, you're probably thinking, I don't see much of a difference. It's a little darker. It's a little darker, right? But look, I'm trying to get close. Look what happens here. Uh-oh. You see what's going on there? It's a little glass. A little, a little reflective property going on in there, okay? So you could imagine on the right kind of right surface, this could be really sweet. You know, whatever. It's all good. I'm going to get a little serious with it on this last one. So what we're going to do is I want to take this one right here and copy and paste it. So I'm going to duplicate it. And it's already set to glass four. That's exactly what I want. Drag it on there. Maybe. Drag it on there. Oh, yeah, it's on there. It's on there. We're going to make a couple changes. Yeah. We're only going to use one texture to make this look cool. Besides that, no textures. All in blueprints. But let's go ahead and pull that out now. If you have the starter content, go to Window and go to Content Browser. And I got textures already set there. Go to my filters. And I'm going to type in the word Rust, I think is what it is. R U. ST. Yeah, there it is right here. See that thing right there? Drag and drop that thing in there. You're thinking, uh, dude, I don't know what you're doing, but I like it. So I'm just moving this stuff out of the way because it's always crowded. 
Always getting crowded in here. I want you to drag a line from this. Actually, hold the letter M and click M for multiply. And I want you to drag this into here. And then hold the number three and multiply. You're like, dude, I, I, I don't know what you're doing. Go to the collars here, right? Two, two, and one. And I want you to plug this in the normal. Let me explain to you what I did there. I made the red and yellow more powerful. The red and yellow is what's calculating the height when the blue is the flat, the flat kind of stuff. So if you actually look at it here, look how much more rigid it is. Yeah, because we multiplied some some uh, red and green in there and less blue. Now, if the, we could do it the other way. You could multiply more blue and soften your normal map. Like that. Get rid of this right here. We don't need it. Just delete that. I want you to bring in a noise. You're like, what? Bro, relax a little bit of, of opacity. I want you to make, change a couple things here. Right here, the scale, 0 0.0025. I want you to set this min here to the 0.3. We add the opacity. The max, I want you to set the 0.6. And I want you to save that bad baby. And we're going to go check this out. It's going to be kind of like a glass with a little bit of a stain to it and a little bit of a, a normal map applied to it, kind of blurry feel. Boom. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. You're like, uh, dude, that's, I'm not going to lie, it's kind of cool. You know what I'm saying? Make it look all kind of jacked up. It's got like a little stain to it. So boom, there you go. You got just a see-through plane. A little real simple, simple, simple. Not even real glass there, but here's a simple glass for you. A little white. A little, little, little collar to it. Just kind of like a, a tinted pane there. This is where it gets a little more realistic because the closer you get, the more you can actually see the reflections. It still tints it just a little bit. You can see that. But if you want to take it to the next level, you can start toying with this kind of stuff. Get the normal in there. Oh, man. Look, it looks like kind of water droplets or something like that. You could really get down with it. Thank you guys for watching, man. Josh with Deprived Productions here. Please go hit the Deprived Productions YouTube channel. Subscribe to that bad baby. And please hit the Facebook page. Deprived Productions all day. Appreciate you guys, man. I hope I taught you a thing or two about glass and a little bit about translucency. Get it done. Learn some stuff. Send it back at me. Let me see it. I want to see it. I bet it's awesome. Um, if not, man, I'll catch you guys soon. UE4 all day. Blender Pro Tools. Axe Edit and all that other cool stuff coming too. So until then, peace. <laughs>